we were getting a bunch of questions and issues and things that were annoying me as most dumb questions and issues do. And I wanted to put this here as a, what the role of this is. I have a bit more detail on top here. That's uh, we made T3 or create T3 app to do one thing, simplify the complex boilerplate around the core T3 stack tech without compromising the modularity of the pieces. I wanted to make sure all of these parts interop the ways that they're supposed to without getting in your way as you do or don't adopt them. So if I don't need Prisma and next off, but I need TRPC for some other server stuff, obviously I want Tailwind and TypeScript's not going to be compromised on. This lets you select which of these pieces, minus TypeScript, you are or aren't going to use for your project and then set them all up correctly. The axioms here I wrote are the philosophical like somebody asked isn't there a js option you should try the js option quick i think you'll be surprised so yeah challenge for everybody who's watching this vod go npx create t3 app and pick javascript see what happens there's a lot to learn there so anyways t3 axioms I wrote this to try and formalize my philosophy around this stuff a bit, knowing that I'm not the one building this, but a lot of others are working on it hard. T3 is Theo. Create T3 app is a CLI to start a project using whichever subset of this tech you want, specifically. Create T3 app is a a project init CLI that has our philosophy encoded in it. And this is that philosophy. The T3 projects are opinionated, but those opinions are done in a way that lets you control your project and to an extent your destiny. The first axiom, I think this is the most important, is solve problems. Every decision that's made here should solve a specific problem or set of problems for users. There are annoyances and problems with setting the stack up, like getting Tailwind and Next isn't too hard, but you have to do it. Getting TRPC and Next Auth to play nice is annoying. Having Prisma and Next Auth play nice is annoying as well. Getting all three of those to work together can be a bitch. One of the benefits of this is we solve those problems for you through create T3 app. We, I shouldn't say we, the other 19 contributors put a lot of work into doing as correct as possible bindings between these pieces and boilerplate to set them all up. So you don't have to worry about that relationship between the parts. You just start building. We solve all of those problems, but we're not solving things that aren't problems like installing Zustand or Redux. You can NPM install those. We don't need to include those in the boilerplate. Anything that's one command, go run your one command. But we're not going to add things that have set up. Certainly not ones that we don't like. Specifically, I don't like. Somebody asked Storybook? I hate Storybook. No. And you know our testing philosophy? No. Anything that's like testing related that's going to be very specific to your use case, that's your problem. Go, go solve that in your world. Solve problems. Everything we do here should solve a problem in a meaningful way. <laughs> Bleed responsibly. This is the one I'm probably most proud of. Clever wording and phrasing here. I love new shit. New shit is awesome. I... <sighs> I see people using new shit in places that are unnecessarily risky way too often. Things like your data layer. That is not a great place to bleed. If your database screws up, you're probably fucked. So with responsible bleeding, it's important to pick pieces that if they fail, don't scale or otherwise have problems that get in your way building an application, you should be able to swap those out. There are certain pieces where the swap is terrifying, like your data layer, 
that's not a good place to be swapping all the time. But the binding between your backend functions and your front end calls to them. Using something like TRPC isn't that risky because the vast majority of the code you're writing is code you have to write anyways. The benefit, though, is it's way faster to write it and make sure it works. And then if TRPC itself fails, you abstract that out and move to a traditional REST API or GraphQL or any of many other solutions. TRPC lets you call your functions on your client with type safety as simply as possible. And then most importantly, we will never compromise on type safety. One of the big benefits of T3 in the stack and the way I push building is your types are correct and correct through inference from your back to your front. You can't call for data that doesn't exist. You can't stop returning data on your back end that the front end expects. The type safety prevents whole categories of errors and problems that are common in web development. And I think it is one of the most important parts of what we built that you will never, ever have to worry about that if you start on and stay on this tech. We went as out of our way as possible to make sure full stack type safety is a guarantee. Type safe tailwind is prettier and an ESLint rule. It's not too big a deal. Uh... Did you know that over half my viewers haven't subscribed yet? That's insane. Y'all just click these videos and listen to me shout and hope that the algorithm is going to show you the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, maybe even the bell next to it so that you know when I'm posting videos. Also, if you didn't know this, almost all of my content is live streamed on Twitch while I'm making it. Everything on the YouTube is cuts, clips, whatever from my Twitch show. So if you're not already watching, make sure you go to twitch.tv slash Theo, where I'm live every Wednesday around 2 or 3 p.m. And I go live on Fridays pretty often as well. Thank you again for watching this video. Really excited. Thank you.